In this video, I'm going to show you how you can display your Facebook reviews in Elementor in beautiful feeds like this. To do this, we'll be using the Smash Balloon Reviews Feed Pro plugin. To purchase and download the plugin, head over to smashballoon.com. And once purchased, you can find your download link and license key for the plugin inside your Smash Balloon account. Download Reviews Feed Pro and head over to your WordPress dashboard. Then on your dashboard, hover over plugins on the left hand side and click add new. Then go and click on upload plugin at the top and upload the zip file for Reviews Feed Pro like this and click install now. Once installed, you can go click on activate plugin. And there we go, Reviews Feed Pro has now been installed and activated. But before we get started with our first Reviews Feed, let's go and activate the license key for the plugin. To do that, on the left hand side, you'll now notice Reviews Feed. Go ahead and click on that. That will take you inside the plugin and at the top, you have an area where you can enter your license key. You can paste it here like this and click activate. Now that our license key has been activated, we can begin creating our Facebook Reviews Feed. To get started, go click on add new at the top. And for the first step, we'll have to add a source for our reviews. Go click on add source. And here you can see all the sources you can select with Reviews Feed Pro. With the plugin, you can create a feed of reviews from Google, Facebook, TripAdvisor, Yelp, Trustpilot, and even WordPress.org. For this video, we want to display our reviews from Facebook. So let's select Facebook and click connect with Facebook. And on this step, make sure that your source type is set to page, and then click on connect to Facebook. This will take you to Facebook and you should see all the Facebook pages associated with your account. Select the one you want to display your reviews from like this and click next. And now it's asking for permission to connect Smash Balloon with our Facebook account. Don't worry, all it's doing is viewing the information it needs to display our feed, but it won't be allowed to make any changes or post on our behalf. So it's completely safe. So we can click on done and then click OK. And now back inside the plugin, you should see all the Facebook pages connected with Smash Balloon. Select the page you want to use as a source and click add pages as source. Then you can select it like this and click next. And for our last step, we'll have to select the template for the layout of our feed. We have options like the default, simple cards, mainstream, and more. For this video, let's go with the simple cards template and click next. And just like that, we have a beautiful preview of our new Facebook reviews feed. This feed is displaying all the latest reviews from the Facebook page that we connected. This is now ready to be embedded inside our Elementor web page. But before we do that, let me show you how we can customize it. On the left-hand side, under the Customize tab, go click on Layout. Inside, you'll find options to modify the layout of your reviews feed. Currently, we have the List Layout selected, which displays your reviews in a single column list. And next, we have the Mastery Layout, which displays your reviews in rows and columns. And lastly, we have the Carousel Layout, which displays your reviews in a swipeable carousel, like this. For this tutorial, we're going to keep the List Layout. And if you look below, you can also specify the number of reviews you want to display. Currently, we're displaying four reviews inside the feed. But if you want to change that, we can go and modify it like this and that change will be made instantly inside the live preview on the right hand side. I'm going to change that back to 4 and once you're happy with the layout of your reviews feed, make sure to hit save on the top right corner. With Reviews Feed Pro, you can also modify the different elements you can see inside each review. To do that, once again, under the Customize tab, go click on Reviews. Next, click on Edit Individual Elements and inside you'll see all the different elements inside each review. We have the author and date, the rating, the review paragraph, and images or videos if they're available. For example, let's say you wanted to remove the rating over here. To do that, all we have to do is deselect it like this. And straight away, you can see all the ratings have now disappeared inside the reviews. And if we want to bring it back, all we have to do is select it again like this. You can now see that the ratings have appeared once again inside the reviews. But you'll also notice that the ratings are now at the bottom. This just shows that you can modify the arrangement of the elements inside each review. If you want to move the rating back to the top, all we have to do is click and drag it up like this and place it exactly where we want to. And instantly, you can see that the rating has now moved to the top. This way, you can fully customize the reviews to look exactly how you want to. And if you made any changes, make sure to hit save on the top right corner. And if you want to control the reviews you display inside your feed, go into the settings tab and click on moderation. And if we enable moderation mode, you can see that we have two different options to use this. The first is the allow list, which hides all your reviews by default, apart from the ones you manually choose to display like this. Next, we have the block list, which displays all your reviews by default, apart from the ones you choose to manually hide like this. For now, I'm going to disable moderation mode. And if we go back into settings and go into filters, you'll find even more options to filter the content inside your feed. At the top, you can filter your reviews based on star rating, so that it only shows reviews that contain those ratings. And underneath that, you can also specify keywords to hide or show reviews containing those words. With these filters and moderation options, you have complete control of the reviews you display inside your feed. And if you added any filters, make sure to click save on the top right corner. Now that you know how to create and customize your Facebook reviews feed, let me show you how we can embed it on your WordPress web page. To do that, go click on embed on the top right corner, copy your dedicated shortcode, then click on add to a page. Next, select the page you want to add your feed to and click add. Now on our page, we can go click edit with Elementor. And here we are inside our Elementor web page. And if we scroll down below, this is where I want to add my new Facebook reviews feed. To embed our Facebook reviews inside Elementor, we'll have to use the shortcode element. So we can go search for it here like this. And here it is. So we can drag it and drop it here like this. 
And now on the left hand side, we can go and paste the shortcode that we copied earlier. And instantly you can see we have a preview of our new Facebook reviews feed inside our Elementor webpage. We can now go click on update and check out what it looks like on the live website. And here we are now on our live Elementor website and right in the middle we have our brand new Facebook reviews feed that we just created. This feed looks amazing and it's currently showing all the latest reviews from our Facebook page. Each review shows the reviewer name, profile picture, their star rating, and the review paragraph as well. And on the right hand side you also have a Facebook logo indicating that the review is from Facebook. And if I scroll down to the bottom, you'll see a load more button and if I click on that, it will load even more reviews directly inside your WordPress webpage. And at the top you also have a write a review button. If we click on that, that will take you directly to that Facebook page with the reviews tab open. This way it's super easy for site visitors to go leave reviews on your Facebook page. So you now know how to embed Facebook reviews inside your Elementor web page. If you have any questions about what I covered in this video, please let me know in the comments down below. If you have any technical issues, please contact your awesome support team. They'd be happy to help you out. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to learn about social media marketing tips to help you grow your business. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.